Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, you know I love beer. Yeah. I love all kinds of beer. I've heard that. I especially love a dr good draft beer. Mm-hmm. There's a new beer on the market. Ooh, can't wait to try it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Where do you hear this? It's on the next Men Are So Smart. Okay, Ronnie, the headline really tells the story here. <laughs> Get ready for this, friends of Men Are So Smart. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm about to say the V word. Oh. Vagina beer goes on sale in, of all places, Poland, made from the essence of hot underwear models. Wow. Okay, this disgusts me right off the bat. <laughs> Don't tune out yet. We're going to learn more. A Polish beer made from the vaginal lactic acid. See, you would have missed that. Of hot underwear models has gone on sale. The odd tipple has been launched by a Warsaw brewery named the Order of Yanni. Of course it is. Yanni is the Sanskrit word for... JJ. Vagina. <laughs> Customers can now buy the beer and taste the essence of models at various pubs uh, as it premiered on July 28th in the Polish city of Katowice. Okay. Uh, the brewery's website tells potential customers, imagine the woman of your dreams, your object of desire, her charm, her sensuality, her passion. Now you can try how she tastes. What? Feel her smell huh? and hear her voice. Customers can now buy the beer and taste the essence at various pubs. Uh, now imagine her giving you a passionate massage and gently whispering anything you'd like to hear. Now free all your fantasies and imagine all of that can be encompassed in a bottle of beer. Hmm. Ronnie, just give me a beer and leave me alone. Uh, Please? Yeah. I'll just have... Uh, oh, what not, she's having. Not your father's root beer. <laughs> so. However, one of the first customers who tasted the beer, Gregor's Majewski, good Polish name, yeah, definitely. was not impressed, complaining that the beer costs the same as a bottle of wine. Oh, dang. Holy crap. He said people will try it out of curiosity, but I don't think it will be a regular addition on the table for beer lovers. The founder of the company, Wojtek uh, Mann, described the process by which a gynecologist took a smear from two hot models, Paulina and Monica, and had the lactic acid bacteria isolated in a lab. I, I can't believe this story. Is this fake news? I, you know what? It almost seems like it, but it's not. No, because it uses big words and it was on the internet. Yes. The website describes the process ambiguously com explaining the secret of the beer lies in her vagina. <laughs> wow. My mom would be so proud right about oh, now. Oh, boy. Using high-tech microbiological techniques, they isolate, examine, and prepare lactic acid bacteria from each unique woman. Wow. That, that's got to be good then. I know. Amidst concerns about the hygiene implications there. of the beer. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. The order of Yanni reassured consumers that the ladies had been totally checked before having the smears and that the scientific process they used to isolate the bacteria removes all potentially unsavory elements. Look, you know what? If the order of Yanni says it's good enough, <laughs> then it's good enough for me. <laughs> Um, this is not um, the first attempt man has made in this direction. Two years ago, he tried to convince people to fund this project, but only managed to raise 1,578 euros out of a 150,000 euro target. However, the determined entrepreneur managed to raise the funds through a single investor and finally made his vagina beer dream a reality. He said, we managed to find an investor who believed in the project and supported us financially. Who is that person, it's, really? Yeah. This guy is missing a screw or two. Uh, Honestly, who wants to drink that? I, I, I can't even imagine that. It's How do you market that? What does the logo look like? <laughs> 
<laughs> Willie Nelson? It's got a pink taco on the front. <laughs> All right. You know what? I am done with that story. Yeah. Completely done. But I'm never done with beer. I know. Our next story today, beer doesn't have a reputation for saving lives. But as with everything in life, an exception can be made. Kwame Anderson and Jason Gabell, who work as beer delivery drivers in Minnesota, were running their usual route when they spotted a man hanging onto a fence on a highway overpass in St. Paul this last Wednesday. Believing the man was suicidal, Anderson quickly phoned the police. Uh, Gable pulled their truck over and called out to the man asking him if he was all right and imploring him to come back over to the other side of the fence. Anderson told the Twin Cities Pioneer Press that he jumped out of the truck and said to the man, if you're thinking of jumping, you don't have to jump. The oh man, goodness. according to Anderson, said, you don't know me, you don't care. Why are you trying to save me? If I didn't care, I wouldn't be here right now, Anderson replied. That is worth a million dollars right yeah. there. Yeah. Anderson credits, believe it or not, Denzel Washington and his role in the movie Inside Man as the inspiration for his quick thinking and negotiation skills. I thought about Denzel Washington when he's acting as a cop in movies. I said, well, I got to keep this guy entertained somehow because if I wait for police, this thing could be over. Yeah, Anderson worked to build a rapport with the man, even find out that they both hailed from Chicago. Eventually, St. Paul police officers arrived while the Minnesota State Patrol and St. Paul Fire Department closed the interstate beneath the man. Uh, but Gable believed that the white police officers were making the man nervous. So, along with Anderson, the pair quickly thought of a plan. Ingenious! <laughs> you gotta have a plan. Uh, Anderson went into the truck and pulled out a 12-pack of beer. He says, I have a pack of Coors Light for you. Follow me. <laughs> the man obliged and inched his way back to safety. Hmm. He didn't receive the drink, however, because paramedics took him to Regent's Hospital to be evaluated. Beer has been bringing people together for a long, long time, a sergeant of the St. Paul Police spokesperson told the press. Today, it brought people together in a life saving way you know that's my kind of story right there i could see this going the other way though hey we got a 12 pack of vagina beer for you and the guy just Woo! <laughs> i'm out done no thank you <laughs> so let's just be happy that they didn't have any vagina beer on hand ronnie you know what i think we wrap up with that right there <laughs> seriously it's a good thing they didn't offer the guy the vagina beer all right That'll wrap up this episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. You can leave comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine what some of the comments are going to say. <laughs> so feel free. Have at it, folks. Leave them below. You'll find all of our information there as well. Our website, our blogs, our email addresses, whatever you want. Social media, it's all there for you. And please, by the way, subscribe to our channel. Yep. It's really important to us. Uh, we would appreciate it. doesn't cost a dime. No. Nope. And um, you'll get notifications each, each time a new show comes out. And those dates are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Yes. We'll see you on the very next Men Are So Smart. I can't wait.